Okay, let's take a look at the $14,000 closet that I did for 2000. And wait, <laughs> before I show you this new closet, let me show you what it used to look like. Now it was old with nothing but wire racks. I did not like it at all. So we decided to just redo it. So the best company to go for is, yep, you guessed it, California Closets. And the cool thing about California closets is that you can actually go and take a look at some of the designs and see how much they will, you know, possibly cost you. So I wanted to go a little bit high class, but I wanted to see what else they have in all of their other uh, categories. First, I looked at the simple one, and this is actually the look that I'm going for, but I do want some dressers and a little bit more high end stuff there. So for the one that they showed up there, the price for it, you know, it's not too bad, about 3,500. So I'm going to put that in my calculator and, you know, maybe I want to see what the expanded features look like, the level two one. And I think this one comes with drawers and some knobs and a little bit more high end features. But that one's, you know, about ninety five hundred. Not not too not too bad. I don't think uh, it has some things that I want in there. But uh, let me look at the elevated details. And I think this is like the vibe I'm going for. Some high-end dressers, might have some glass in there, something for my shoes, but I'm not paying $27,000 for it. So I'm going to see what the average is going to be if I were to take elements from different ones. So we're gonna take the 27,000 from the elevated detail, and then we're gonna to go to the level two one. And that one's about 9,500. So we're gonna put that into the calculator. And then the last one is a simple one, which is about 3,500. So if I were to take different elements from all of them, I'm looking at about, yeah, 13,000. I, I think I can get it for a lot cheaper than that. I, I don't wanna spend that much money on a closet system. So the best place to go to, it's Ikea. <laughs> Ikea has a really good pack system that you can do your entire self. The only thing is, is that it's not hardwood. It is plywood, but you know, they make pretty good plywood systems. So you can easily just design from scratch or you can get some inspiration from their already designed spaces. And they make it really simple, but the first thing you probably want to do is just add some frames. And you can adjust it based off of your room size. So the width, the height, and the depth. And, you know, just take your measuring tape around your space and you should definitely have something that can work for you. The only downside is that they do not account for doors or windows or angles, which is horrible, but just add that to your design element in your head. So after you add some cabinetry, some of the frames, you can reposition them to where you want them to go in your space. You can put them on different walls. It's, you know, it's really intuitive. I actually do like it uh, using it as a system. And then after you have your frames and everything, you can go for what you want in the interiors of your frames. And the cool thing about Ikea is that they actually had some pre-made inspiration. So I did use this one for my inspiration for some of my frames. And I did make a couple of changes here and there. And I'm gonna show you uh, the design that I decided to go for. And I really do like it that you get to save your design. So if you wanna make any changes going forward, or if you just need to revert back to something else that you did before, they do allow for you to make multiple different type of design changes. And for this one, I went with one that has a combination about four or five different frame sizes, some dressers, some drawers, uh, something for my shoes, some glass in there, and it's under $2,000. So let's get started on the transformation. So first I had to get these tired behind wire frames out and get these anchors out. These are some of the hardest anchors to get out. And unfortunately they leave holes in the walls, but because of the frames, I'm just gonna put them over those holes and I have to patch them up. And then I want these frames to sit flush, so I did decide to take out the baseboards. And I do have this handy mallet and pry bar, which makes it really simple. I have it all in the description below if you wanna get that exact system. So now you just have to open up all of the Ikea boxes. There are a lot depending on your configuration. And everything is nicely worded. <laughs> 
if you do know ikea they do not word anything so it's nothing but pictures so just look over the pictures over and over and make sure that you understand them because you don't want to put any of the materials or hardware in the wrong slots because you're going to have to take them all apart now it's really simple to put everything together this is a one-man operation i did make a mistake and i'm going to show you that mistake really really soon but uh, i thought i was just acing along it was really simple until i decided to actually put this in the space now i'm dragging it and i'm trying to lift it up but it is hitting the wall this is too tall for the ceiling so i had to take it all apart place it back into the room and start all over so because i'm doing this by myself i did have to use my ladder and a metal bar to hold up the sides because if you do not they are going to lean and break and then the entire thing is broken and you would not be able to use it again you will have to get a whole new frame set i would definitely recommend they do make two different frame sizes for height they do have a lower one where you can just put it together and just lift it up but if you are doing the ones that are extremely high make sure you do it in the space standing up now, because I'm doing this by myself, I did tape the sides with some really strong adhesive so I can nail in the back end, which didn't take that long at all. It's really simple, really intuitive. And I also have my nail gun, but you want to be careful using your nail gun because the sides are kind of thin and you don't want to accidentally nail through into the interior because then you'll, you know, you'll see it as you are uh, finishing up. So I am using these wall anchors. These are for really, really heavy items. And it's really simple to put in. First, you just have to drill your pilot hole into the wall. And then you uh, put the uh, butterfly into the back of it. And then you put the screw and then it clamps together, holding the frame to the drywall. These are not going anywhere at all, no matter how heavy it is. Everything is labeled, like the drawers here. You just put them together, really simple, not a headache at all. And I did about eight of them. The good thing with the drawers from Ikea is that they are all soft closing, so it does add a little bit more of a luxury element there. And if you're wondering how did I know which hole to stick everything in, in the Ikea design system, it tells you the, the number of holes and which hole number to go to. So you can easily just count either from the top or from the bottom which hole number and then you can insert whatever part that you are inserting. And basically that's it. It took maybe a day to put this all together by myself and here's the finished product. So I separated with his and hers. On my side, I have some shelves. I have something for my jeans, my pants that I usually wear, some miscellaneous drawers, storage for my belts. I have my tops and some hats on top. And I do like the glass element. I do use this one for my cologne. I do have a lot. I do like smelling good and it does add a nice manly touch to it. I have some drawers for everything else. Her side a little bit messy, so I'm not going to touch that one. And then I also have some laundry options, his and hers and whites and darts, and for my shoes. If you like it, let me know in the comments, like the video and subscribe as well. But if you would have done anything different, let me know. Till next time.